Hello folks, welcome to session 7 of my Blender training. This is uh, part 2. In uh, part 1, we've learned about the very basics of uh, UV unwrapping and uh, you know, like texture mapping using simple materials. Okay, now in this uh, part 2, we will actually take the model that we created in the last class. Okay, I'll provide the blend file for you if you want to use it to follow the tutorials. So we'll basically uh, create a nice UV unwrap and uh, paint some you know textures. Okay, so so there you go. So this is what uh, we had from session number six, right? So we created uh, this uh, flower pot, a flower vase sort of thing. Okay, let's go to the local view. Okay, I'll be a little quick in this one. Okay, um, so so this uh, was. Let me full screen this. Okay, the hotkey for toggling full screen is uh, Shift and the Space key. Okay, you can easily toggle. Okay, and uh, go to the front view. Okay, again we have the hotkeys, right? So, or from the tool shelf, uh, enable the <coughs> 3D view add-on called 3D view navigation, right? So this gives us uh, these hotkeys. Yeah. So. So this object was created using uh, a profile, okay. So we we basically uh, created this from this particular profile, okay. It forms a perfect uh, loop, okay. Again, to select the edge loops, it's uh, Alt and right click on the vertical edge to select a, a vertical edge loop and Alt right click on a horizontal edge to select a horizontal edge loop okay to select multiple edge loops uh, hold down the shift key and then alt and uh, right click okay so deselect using uh, a key okay so we basically created this uh, from a simple profile and then uh, spin it where is it yeah spin it and then applied a subsurface or a subdivision surface modifier okay so which creates a, a smoother representation of a polygonal mesh okay and then uh, okay so this is what we have so far now it's time to create a UV unwrap for this object yeah so let's go to the UV editing mode okay again I'll quickly customize it like we did in part one Okay, that's my properties view. The hotkey for switching a uh, editor to another editor type. Okay, now in this case, the properties editor is uh, Shift F7. So right now, this editor is a UV image editor. So Shift and F7 will change it into a properties editor. Okay, right click and flip to top. All right, so that's our properties editor and uh, let's split this uh, editor slash uh, I'm sorry space key to get the search operator menu and uh, split area okay and I think the hotkey for the UV image editor is uh, shift F9 no shift uh, F10 okay basically uh, shift F3 I think it starts from shift F2 yeah Shift F1 will give you uh, the link append uh, uh, dialog, so we'll cover this later. But Shift F2 brings up the game logic editor, okay, or the logic editor, and Shift F3 gets the node editor. So Blender has uh, material nodes, you know, and texture nodes and compositing nodes, and Shift F4 brings up the Python console. Shift F5 brings up the 3D view. Shift F6, the curve editor. Shift F7 brings up the properties editor, like we just did. Shift F8 for the thing. This is the 
uh, video sequence editor and shift F10 the UV image editor shift F11 brings up the Python editor uh, that is a Python text editor and shift F12 the uh, dope sheet okay cool so let's switch to uh, the UV image editor great and uh, again this scene is basically just instances of our groups okay um, let's quickly render this to see okay uh, shift F and scroll the mouse to fly back and left click to stop and render okay so that's what we have escape oops uh, since uh, the render uh, result popped up in the UV image editor we cannot press escape okay we need to switch back to uh, the default UV image editor by closing this render result alright let's switch to layer number 3 okay and select the uh, was and type view selected okay space key and uh, enter okay and uh, let's switch to the local view great and uh, switch to the front view okay and let me turn off the uh, subdivision surface modifier in the viewport quickly okay and uh, let's add a texture slot Okay, uh, the I'm sorry let's add a UV um, slot I'll name it uh, flower pot uh, one layer okay I'll just call it flower pot one now let's uh, do the simple UV unwrapping right edit mode I select all the uh, vertices as you can see blender does the planar mapping of each face okay and let me turn on the sync okay and uh, let's add a new texture okay I'll call it flower pot one okay and uh, let's uh, choose a different color than back maybe something like this and okay okay so basically uh, let me switch to the face select mode okay for each face okay blender has uh, done a planar mapping and also let's toggle on the texture solid display okay now you'll notice um, let me minimize this You'll notice that um, it's a little weird. The display is a little weird, especially if you turn on uh, uh, the subdivision surface. You'll notice that you can see the internal, uh, you know, faces. Basically, the normals over here are not properly aligned. Okay, so let me toggle this off, and uh, let's switch on the display of face normals increase it to uh, say 25 centimeters okay maybe too much 15 centimeters okay you notice that some of the normals are pointing in okay so basically we need to fix this okay uh, to do that select all the faces okay and uh, in the mesh tools panel you'll see uh, recalculate normals okay so uh, the hotkey is control N and if you want to access it from the uh, search menu you say make normals consistent okay so now all the normals have been recalculated okay and uh, pointing out all right and if you turn on the uh, subdivision surface everything is normal <laughs> all right so with that uh, now uh, going back to the edit mode 
and turning off the normals okay so because of the planar mapping okay we have a problem right so if you try to paint something over here okay and uh, reduce the size a bit let's paint quickly something okay so every trace will get uh, the same okay texture repeated maybe sometimes that, that is what you want okay you, you, you can still get good results okay um, okay but uh, we can do better right so let me undo this Ctrl Z to undo okay uh, now let's look at the next uh, best thing okay so let's switch to the front view um, let's switch to the front view and uh, auto okay shift C to move the cursor to the world uh, origin okay now uh, press U to get the UV mapping menu let's try a uh, cylinder projection okay so you'll notice cylinder projection gives me this and let me turn off the 2d painting okay okay and uh, cylinder projection operator properties are here okay you can click okay clip to bounce and scale to bounce okay um, but uh, this is not good for uh, painting uh, a texture map right so let's try something else let's try a uh, spherical projection so that's not working for us okay now uh, blender uh, supports as we have seen from uh, the last uh, class okay something called uh, seam based unwrapping okay so you have a model you tag uh, certain edges or edge loops as uh, having scenes and blender automatically unwraps it okay so we'll be making use of that to get a unwrap of our flower vase so let's switch to the edge select mode okay and uh, okay uh, on the negative y axis is that right oh sorry on the positive y axis okay I'll choose this edge loop so it's just uh, alt and uh, right click just alt and right click and then since we model this from a, a perfect uh, you know, profile so that's selected and then we need to mark this edge as a seam okay you'll notice uh, in the 3d view properties mesh display panel the seam uh, checkbox is turned on automatically okay so if you switch to the uh, wireframe mode by pressing the z key you'll see our edge has been uh, tagged as a seam okay now by selecting all the faces and uh, pressing u and unwrap there you go okay shift space or you can right click on the header and say maximize area also in blender there are multiple ways of doing the same thing okay so it's up to you uh, to use the method that fits into your workflow okay I prefer shift space to quickly toggle okay any editor can be maximized so there you go our perfect profile has been uh, UV unwrapped based on the seam that we have provided okay um, now there are some more uh, properties available um, so uh, blender uses uh, uh, least uh, LCSM okay it's called uh, least squares conformal mapping okay uh, let's go with the defaults um, I'll link my website with uh, the actual release logs of this feature so you can read about it uh, but yeah so angle base gives the best results okay as you can see conformal is giving a result something like this and angle based is doing a much better job I guess okay and uh, there are a few more display options in the UV editor uh, which is uh, in case there is a uh, UV stretching uh, by clicking uh, this checkbox 
it will show you uh, where stretching is so where faces are uh, blue okay deep blue dark blue uh, there is less uh, stretching and uh, as it moves towards uh, in fact let's uh, select the vertex mode or the face mode and select the face and uh, right move so you notice that wherever there is stretching okay the color uh, changes okay uh, that's one uh, visual cue and then we also have uh, our mesh our simple mesh uh, having been applied a subdivision surface modifier so the faces uh, that are all subdivided right their UVs have also been subdivided because this is checked so you can visualize that from here okay you need to select uh, all the faces in the 3d view to see that there you go okay so that's the subdivision mesh okay if you uncheck uh, this option okay uh, the UVs are not subdivided okay yeah there you go again blender 2.5a beta right uh, has few bugs and stuff okay uh, in couple of months or maybe in a couple of weeks I believe they're releasing uh, another stable version um, cool so uh, that's how you unwrap okay so let's uh, look at few more uh, ways of doing this say for example for some reason I want uh, I wanted uh, let's switch to the edge mode I wanted uh, a loop over here okay I select this loop uh, the hotkey for bringing up the edge specials is control E okay and uh, mark seam okay now let's select these faces with uh, the following seams and see what we get you and unwrap there you go so basically uh, all the faces below this horizontal edge loop okay were uh, uh, unwrapped here and all the faces above uh, this particular edge loop intersecting with this vertical edge loop have been unwrapped here okay now you have uh, what we call uh, UV islands okay so this is one UV island and uh, this is the second UV island to select a UV island it's uh, L okay just put the mouse over an island and press L okay so this uh, select link does not work when uh, the sync uh, button is clicked so let's uncheck and uh, we need to select all the vertices in the 3D view since we toggled off the uh, sync and then you can press L there you go similarly L okay uh, there's also uh, this option island selection mode so you can switch to the island selection mode and just uh, right click and it selects an island now we can uh, actually move this island okay over here you can also uh, basically I'm translating it by pressing the G key and X key to constrain on the X axis okay and uh, S key to scale it up okay so that's how you can uh, uh, go about doing it okay again I'm covering the essential options for now uh, there are also things like uh, uh, snapping I mean welding vertices okay um, let's enable shared location oops I think shared vertex okay there you go so now with the shared vertex uh, sticky selection mode uh, enabled you can see which of these vertices are shared in the actual 3d mesh okay so that way I can do things like uh, so let's try welding okay W and oops oh now what happening is uh, both the you know selected uh, things are getting welded so I'm not that comfortable with uh, advanced UV unwrapping so I'm doing my best okay now select uh, let's uh, get back to uh, sticky selection mode disabled then select uh, the individual vertices yeah and then uh, press W and weld okay so that's how you can weld what it is oops 
Okay, that's not what I wanted. Let's disable this. Okay, uh, in 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 order for me to uh, move the coincident vertices here, okay, uh, that share the UV, I need to go to the shade location mode, and uh, let's try this. Okay, weld. Okay, and we also have access to the proportional editing tools so I can just press G and move the mouse just like uh, the 3D view okay and the hotkey is I believe O okay O key small O key and toggle it off so uh, W and weld W and weld and W and weld okay so we we welded our mesh as a single UV island. Okay, switch to the UV island. There you go. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, let's uh, pack the image. Yeah. Uh, also, you know, uh, you can just uh, experiment with uh, the various options. Okay. Um, some of them may be similar to other 3D software. Uh, I'm not that familiar with other 3D softwares. Um, okay, and for most of these options, uh, there's a tooltip available. Okay, just move your mouse on each menu item, and uh, you get a tooltip. So, uh, okay, just uh, experiment. Okay, uh, there are also other features like uh, pinning uh, UV, you know, vertices together. Okay, like I can select uh, this vertex. Okay. I can select this vertex and uh, pin it. Okay, U is pin hotkey is P. Okay, and then uh, okay, let's pin uh, this one as well. P and pin uh, these two. Okay, now uh, let's enable live uh, unwrap. Okay, now what happens is as I move uh, the other. Okay, other, uh, I mean the pin vertices, if I move the pin vertices, the other, uh, you know, selected vertices will uh, adjust accordingly. Okay, so uh, if I leave this off, so then live unwrap is turned off, so uh, that's not good. So turn on the live unwrap and uh, let's disable this, oops shade vertex and okay there you go something wrong over here um, but yeah uh, these are some of the basic tools of the UV unwrapping tool okay in a uh, in later tutorials I'll uh, uh, look at uh, more uh, options okay but for now you at least know uh, the basics to get started yep so with that done, let's uh, just paint something quickly, okay? Using the texture painting tools, okay? So let go out of the edit mode, back to the object mode, solid mode, and uh, switch to the texture paint mode, okay? I'll minimize the UV editor a little, okay? And maximize the tool shelf, okay? Now Let's uh, paint over this using, uh, let me save the file as well. Okay, uh, so basically we have uh, these brushes, right? So let's use this uh, text draw. So basically, uh, text draw, I just pressed escape. Okay. Um, let's go to the texture so this is the texture so let's add a new texture name it my brush one and if you now go to the texture properties uh, tab okay uh, make sure uh, it's always good to click this brush button 
okay to be in the right context so there you go now you have uh, this cloud texture as a texture brush okay now to change the size of the brush okay we have been using uh, the brush properties here okay but the hotkey is uh, F okay you can press F and you can actually visualize uh, the cloud texture and also the brush size okay you can uh, just paint okay um, using mix mode you can use uh, different uh, modes okay and uh, oops ctrl z to undo okay and uh, just paint okay let's choose uh, let's create another brush okay I want to save this brush uh, in my file okay I'll press this F so even if I close this the brush will still exist in my file okay and I'll create another brush called my brush 2 and uh, change this to uh, noise okay something like this Uh, again uh, I'll be revisiting uh, the texture painting mode in uh, intermediate and advanced tutorials but this is just to get you started and uh, YouTube has lots of nice tutorials as well as uh, Vimeo so you can easily find uh, you know uh, you know tutorials on various features of uh, blender okay um, let's try a Voronoi with uh, okay something like this there you go okay uh, let's change the color okay oops okay again this is just to quickly demonstrate to you uh, the features right and uh, let's use a uh, uh, smear and just uh, you know clean up these boundaries F to change the brush size okay so there you go a quick uh, rundown okay so you can just uh, experiment maybe I'll finish it off with uh, okay uh, so there are my brush one my brush two and uh, the default brush that came okay uh, let me change it to let's say marble okay and uh, the different noise types okay okay let's use this and uh, choose another color and F again I'm not a painter so please bear with me learning digital painting is on my to-do list okay it'll help me make better tutorial better tutorials okay so here you'll notice uh, because of uh, uh, these faces they got a uh, very small UV space okay you'll notice uh, the texture is getting blurred Okay, the amount of UV, spa uh, UV space that a 3D face gets in the UV layout, okay, it affects uh, the detail that we see in the texture. Okay, so we should have given more UV space for these faces. Okay, so uh, okay, that's good enough. Okay, some weird uh, looking part, and let me just soften this a little. All right. Okay, and uh, pack the data. Oops, sorry. Pack and Control S, save the file. 
all right and uh, get back to the uh, object mode okay so that's about uh, uh, the basics now let's uh, go back to the global view okay the local view operator toggles between uh, uh, both the global and local views all right okay space now let's quickly unwrap our leaf okay now this leaf uh, these leaves here are an instance so let's go back to layer number 2 okay and select the leaf uh, let's select uh, this this one in fact uh, yeah so let's select this one and uh, go to the local view right I'll turn off its uh, subdivision modifier okay and also the curve modifier okay and go to the edit view now we need to uh, follow the same uh, steps select the object add a new UV texture I'll call it uh, leaf dot one dot UV okay I'm just quickly going about and go to the edit mode select all the faces and create a new texture map I'll call it leaf dot one dot UV map choose a uh, something like a green color base it's okay okay so and make sure texture solid is turned on okay so we have a green leaf already okay now we need to UV unwrap this okay again I can do it uh, in different ways right so let's switch to the edge mode and start selecting edge loops okay uh, basically uh, we have the bottom side of the leaf and top side of the leaf okay so I'll choose uh, uh, this particular edge loop okay uh, because it's below the leaf okay so any seams that could appear after texture painting okay can be hidden let's uh, increase the near clipping plane uh, I'll say 1 mm Okay. By the way, I'm using uh, the metric uh, display, okay, for accurate modeling. Or, okay, so yeah, I'm selecting this bottom edge loop, okay, and uh, so this edge loop ends here. So shift, right click these uh, edges. Um. Oops. Well, let's do this again. I deselect everything and uh, let me switch to the orthographic mode okay okay in the orthographic mode I'm able to zoom uh, nicely so alt uh, and right click on these edges and alt right click and uh, alt shift right click and alt shift right click okay you'll notice we have selected a full edge loop and uh, let me select the rest okay all shift right click I think I have got most yeah I got a perfect edge loop few more faces over here or did I nail it okay I think I've nailed it okay perfect so control E and mark oops control E mark seam okay with that select all the faces and U and unwrap voila okay so you can press the space key in the UV image editor and uh, zoom the image okay 8 is to 1 or uh, view 1 is to 1 okay and the hotkeys are here 
again uh, just uh, check out all the menus available okay and uh, all the tools are there right in front of you okay um, shift space and uh, okay tab out of it and you can go ahead and uh, you know paint uh, your uh, UV texture okay um, using texture painting and uh, let me just uh, paint something quickly right enable this texture paint texture on okay uh, I think I'll use this texture and use a uh, uh, dark greenish color I guess okay and uh, this must be okay great and maybe change the color a little okay uh, something like this all right okay cool um, I'll just pack this image okay save the file now I need to switch back to the global view okay now you'll notice uh, in our case uh, each leaf is a separate object okay including its uh, data okay so what we'll do is so basically w what I mean by that is uh, the mesh data for this leaf is uh, different than the mesh data for this leaf okay so if I edit uh, these vertices uh, the other leaves vertices won't move okay but in this case I want all the objects okay all the leaves to have the same data okay uh, it's very easy to do that so this is my target uh, I mean my source leaf and these are my target leaf so I'll select all my target uh, leaf objects and then finally select my source leaf objects uh, object which has the UV mapping applied right again select the uh, leaf objects to which you want to copy the uh, UVs and then select the object that has the UV mapping okay and then um, object and make links okay so basically uh, we are connecting uh, the uh, we are basically connecting the data for these three white leaves to the data of this uh, UV textured leaf okay so object make links and make links to the object data of the source leaf there you go bingo now all these leaves okay are uh, sharing the same data okay uh, which means let me quickly turn off uh, the modifier for all of these okay let's let's turn off the modifiers for all of these okay off and off okay and uh, okay let okay so basically all these leaves are sharing the same uh, mesh data so if I select uh, this leaf and uh, just move this vertex okay it's not real time right now uh, because uh, we have applied modifiers to these objects but uh, if you come out of the edit mode you'll notice that uh, the mesh has changed for all leaves okay so that's the idea okay cool now let's turn on um, turn the modifiers again quickly all these repetitive actions can be automated using uh, 
you know python scripting okay we'll uh, have a look at it uh, at a later lesson cool so i have uh, my leaf i have my flower pot okay and if you go to the first layer there you go our instances okay not not so pretty okay but uh, we can live with that let me save the file okay just press the plus key or you can uh, use these keys as well okay file 2 switch to the camera mode and do a render uh oh okay the problem is uh, we need to attach the materials right so select the was go to the materials add a new material and uh, same steps as uh, part one okay so I'm just breezing through this material and turn off the brush icon off okay so that uh, we get the material uh, slot okay accessing the texture uh, slot here let's add a new texture and uh, choose image or movie then choose flower pot one right and uh, mapping to e and flower pot one and it is hooked to the color uh, channel okay let's go to layer one and do a render okay there you go uh, similarly let's choose uh, the leaf okay go back to the material for the leaf add a new material and uh, cubic interpolation and switch to the texture slot okay make sure uh, you see the leaf its material in the texture tab and a new texture and image okay and uh, should point to leafy map and image mapping oops sorry the mapping is set to UV and layer is leaf one UV and let's just map it to color channel okay and uh, switch to this view go to render slot number two and uh, do a render oops we should be in uh, the first layer okay and render okay there you go uh, this time around uh, let's uh, choose the flower pot okay and let the texture also influence the uh, basically enable bump mapping okay so the texture information is used to give uh, detail uh, as you can see without bump mapping it looks uh, like this and with bump mapping okay you can control how much influence it has okay so let's use a value like this okay point four ish All right and switch to layer one okay you can render just this layer as well okay but you notice that the lamp okay is uh, not in this layer so that's why if you try to render while you're just in layer number three you get a black result okay what you can do is uh, uh, your lamp right your lamp is in uh, layer number one so to check in which layers uh, this particular object is go to its objects tab and uh, relations so you notice that this, this lamp is just visible in the layer one so you can uh, just shift and uh, click on layer 3 now this lamp will be visible in layer 1 and layer 3 okay and if you want it to be visible in uh, layer 2 just see now if you go to layer 2 there you go the lamp and layer 3 the lamp the camera okay is for the whole scene okay although the camera is just on layer 1 it can still be you know uh, set while you are in layer 2 so I can say view and camera okay it's still uh, there just that in layer 2 you cannot select the camera okay you can only select the camera in layer 1 cool so uh, now I can just render this particular layer because I have a lamp and if I want to check my leaves I can render that as well okay and if you want to render the main layer render Okay, so now uh, there is some bumpiness on the object. Okay, 
okay uh, again just to make it more lively let's enable uh, indirect light bounce okay and uh, also okay let's quickly just check with this okay so there's some light bouncing from the floor onto the uh, objects and also enable uh, environment lighting okay so let's just use white light and uh, point 2 and uh, F12 okay the hotkey for rendering is F12 so we have light coming from all around so it's a little dark at the bottom so I'll just uh, use a value of 0.5 here and F12 okay that looks uh, better I guess maybe 0.3 okay uh, in the lighting and rendering class I'll talk more about some of these advanced options okay and uh, if you want to give a nice sky color effect like light coming from the sky so you can do that from here okay I'm just touching upon some of the rendering options in this video quickly okay let's use something like this and uh, okay cool uh, switch to slot number four and render okay in fact to see its actual effect let's use a value of 1 and F12 okay now you see the blue light coming from around the sky all right so cool so yeah uh, that's a quick introduction to UV unwrapping using seams okay and also we have learned a little bit about uh, copying uh, data I mean linking mesh data between different objects okay and also uh, some of the uh, rendering uh, features okay global illumination features okay that's about it okay uh, in the next class uh, we will cover uh, more about the sharing system okay some more uh, details and also the lighting system okay the different types of lights available okay cool thank you